Hello there, YouTube. Welcome back. We are, we just got a lineup here of all of these different skulls. We got a mug. We got a flask that says Cabal above all. Doing a little painting here on Kent Pool Collects. Hopefully you're enjoying the different paint videos but uh come on back and see what we're getting into today <laughs> got a lot of different pieces picked this up at uh legions con have uh not jumped in and painted yet so i think we're gonna work on this also got this at legions con how cool is that a little cabal going on there so we'll see about getting that painted up then we got a bunch of skulls from our guy, Greg. Look at that. That guy's pretty, pretty wicked, right? Got a uh, skull rocking the helmet. This one's a fun little piece here. Check out this guy. Oh, yeah. A little skull. Little horns. About yelling that guy's excited. Got this, uh, I don't know, it's like maybe a dragon skull. Kind of cool. Different look. Got like a ogre ogre orc style there little uh some strong teeth going on and then we got uh some of our basic skeletons that uh we've painted in the past so quite a few skulls uh the easy way to uh do up the skulls they actually have our uh base wrath bone where you can get it as a spray and uh, knock those out perfect for like speed painting doing uh kind of army building especially if you're doing like warhammer and that kind of stuff at that smaller scale but uh, i got quite a bit of wrath bone here i got some time to do some painting so i'll probably not go the spray route, especially because I don't have any <laughs> spray currently. And uh, I don't know, by the time Amazon delivered it, I can already have these painted up and use up some of this older paint. But I think I'm going to start with this and start with this little one. And I think I do want to prime these so i'm gonna get these hit with some prime and let's get the painting started we are back and you can see priming done we got all of our little bone wrath we got our prime this wasn't too bad uh probably had to spray twice I feel like there's always one or two <laughs> spots that uh, I kind of miss. So some painting fun, some uh, army building going on here. All these skulls, right? All the skulls. So we got four, seven, eight, nine, whew, ten. And again, this would have been <laughs> a lot easier with uh, just the spray paint, but I had a ton of paint 
left over and decided to hit them all, right? Hit them all. So I'm going to try our little piece here. I've been having a lot of fun recently with this Storm Host Silver. So we're going to try some of that. What I'm thinking is we're going to go over it with the silver and then maybe come back and dry brush a red to kind of finish the piece off. So there is our paint. And let's see. I'm going to use a small layer brush. And just trying to find a good point. You can see like the lettering coming through pretty good on that prime. So trying not to just kind of giving it a good layer. This might be one of those things where I might have to come back and maybe do a second layer but I think that's pretty cool for our flask and this is a you know a true little piece here <laughs> tiny piece compared to some of the other things we paint. But yeah, I think the dry brush will be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna let that little bit dry so we can kinda handle and move around. So that takes up that. Let me go rinse off my brush because I don't know for whatever reason I don't just have like a cup and wash it off on the cup and dry it off it'd probably make things easier and uh it'd be less me running around but my method seems to keep my brushes in pretty good shape so that's the most important thing right cleaned out our brush we're gonna use our other layering brush and this time we're gonna start working on our cup and I got this uh, little dryad bark so we'll see how that looks with our cup and basically gonna use this on all the wood parts gonna make for a little darker cup but I think the bark will, uh, will look good on this piece so yeah just trying to hit all the wood spots and then I'll have to decide what uh, if we'll use the silver again Probably on this piece. Because basically you have wood and then you have almost like metal holding this cup together. But, you know, can't go wrong. I think the bark makes for good wood. Maybe they, uh, maybe it's darker. Maybe they're like drinking Guinness or something out of this cup. <laughs> so I'm going to go a little bit into the cup.
you know, I imagine the shots of this cup, probably not going to see, like, into it. But you never know. Hopefully y'all are enjoying a little bit of painting. I have to decide what uh, I'm thinking. This is going to be just more wood out here on the handle. But yeah, I think that brown is uh, coming through pretty nice. Clearly we got some spots. Uh, just try to take our time and avoid like the the wolf I'm thinking about more of the metal look on the wolf some kind of uh, metal meets Deal. So I'm going to finish painting this up and we'll see what all the uh, wood looks like. Show you progress so far. So I feel like the brown working pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Even uh, the black prime that is left. It's kind of cool how that turned out with our bark. And then here is our Cabal flask. How cool is that? So we already see the print kind of showing up at the top. So I like the silver. Let's use, this is one of my uh, favorite reds. Really good red. I'm gonna shake this up, shake it up. And we're gonna see if we can just apply a little bit of a dry brush technique here. Uh-oh, might need a new, okay, there's some surface. It's like, man, thought I ran out of uh, paper towel to use on, well, at least this paper towel. Yeah, I like this red. This should be a pretty good red, especially as we kind of dry brush this on and really just want to uh, lightly hit these letters. print showing up let's see if we can get that into focus but yeah not bad let me see if I can lightly go over this once or twice more and really get those letters to uh, stick out for us. Dry brush. I don't know. Tell me how we did. I feel like you get a better idea with the red. Some of our letters kind of sticking out there. So I feel pretty good about that. We're going to go back to our cup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Apply our silver. And 
and this is just where the metal is gonna kind of meet the wood I've really really been enjoying using the silver on some different pieces and I think this will be another good piece and we're just gonna you know, go around and try to touch all of our metal just trying not to overdo it and crash into our wood but let me get painting because yeah not a huge surface <laughs> let me know what y'all think rainy days always a great day to do some painting and i think i've shown this plenty of times plenty of times uh apparently not enough to know where there it is so got our contrast skeleton hoard gonna shake that up real good and you'll see uh, this is almost gonna look different yeah nice and shake it up which is a fun easy way to uh, do up some skeletons and we're gonna use our shade brush little shade so this is a medium shade and all we're gonna do is get a fair amount of our shade if you want to use a surface to kind of get a feel but this is a big old piece so we're just gonna spread the shade out and i've talked about it before you just kind of work out the shade you want to make sure that you don't have like puddles so just trying to spread it out and as it dries you're gonna get a cool look and effect so see how that's all puddled up we want to spread that out get in between these teeth and just making sure that because uh, otherwise it's gonna dry and you're gonna get like a thick kind of blobby looking spot so just trying to spread out the old shade you can see how the teeth and everything kind of benefiting from contrast bringing out uh, some of the mold the sculpt but yeah we just want to get that all over and spread out fun little process feel like uh, you're working like a dig site archaeologist <laughs> kind of clean up the bone get it looking all pretty for a museum or a display right uh, you can see kind of the difference that the contrast is making little skeleton horde let me know what you think in uh, the comments quite a bit of skulls painted the only thing i haven't painted is uh the tops of the helmets uh this is a fun one check that out it's pretty cool and this guy is uh yeah it's fun 
So we've got some skulls painted. Coming back with our silver. Make everything looks pretty good. With our cup. And we're gonna go in and try to dry brush a little bit on the wolves there. Slide this up a little bit. All right. Try to finish up. And uh, if I need to, might go back and just touch up these browns a little bit. But just a thin little coat. Oh yeah, looks pretty good. Beauty of dry brushing, just using a little bit of paint, really hitting that rise wolf area. And like I said, if you want to go back, can uh, touch up the brown a little bit. Or gets just a little over but for the most part nailing that wolf on our mug one two three got the wolf got the bark yeah I'm pretty happy with how that uh, turned out like you can see a little bit of gray there a little bit of gray. This one, yeah, a little bit. So maybe I'll go back, touch up with the brown, but uh, overall pretty happy with uh, the colors and uh, how our cup finished up. Uh, maybe what I'll do, maybe we'll finish up painting these helmets. I'm going to do a similar design. I like how the brown and the silver here kind of turned out. So maybe we'll try that on our helmet as well and uh, kind of finish up this paint video. Paint and fun continues. We're going to work on our skeleton helmet. So I think we're gonna revisit our bark just to give it like that dark wood look like we did on our mug. I think this will come out uh, pretty good. I'll get that opened up. And we're basically gonna apply this paint already have a good base with the uh, wrath bone so even if you do get those spray bottles you can basically hit the entire piece and then come on back and paint and brush up what you're looking to brush up so I'm gonna hit this guy all with the brown uh, I haven't decided on the horns yet I'm thinking maybe going a white just uh, get it looking a different than the actual skeleton I could just do the wash and finish that way, but I decided I wanted to do it a little different. So let me get these helmets painted. 
painted up and uh, we'll see what we got. All right, we are working away. You can see some of that silver going on there. I'll have to decide whether or not I want to do a second coat of the brown, but uh, the silver taken uh, very well to the helmet. Just using uh, my medium layer brush and uh, you can see just kind of hitting all of the kind of middle parts. Trying not to go into our helmet, into our brown, but uh, if a little bit of brown, like I said, I might go back and hit that with another coat. You can see where there's still some wrath bone, so it's uh, trying to cover that wrath bone either with the silver or the brown as uh, as we're going forward on our skeleton. We got a flask. We got a Wolf King custom cup cabal flask. Check out those skeletons. Went uh, white on the horns. Look at this. Just a whole army of skeletons painted up. A couple items painted up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, comment, and share if you haven't already. Jump into Kent Pool Collects. Uh, we're having a lot of fun painting, doing some different stuff here to uh, finish up the year in 23. Let me know which one is your favorite skull. We got tons of skulls, tons of skulls. But, uh, you know, just doing some different thing, things with uh, the paints, the contrasts, and uh, using some brushes that uh, help us knock out what we're looking to do. Thanks for all your support. Thank you to our channel members for being channel members here on YouTube. More pictures over on Instagram. Until next time, always be hunting. And if you can't be hunting, have fun collecting.